Good morning, guys. Coffee with Pegasus. Yeah, Friday morning. Still about half sleep. Up kind of late last night, but oh well, there you go. Hope everybody's doing good this morning. Um, my last video was on uh, the negative emotion of fear. How all negative emotions come from fear. Well, let's talk about one of the big emotions that come in that probably most of the people on the planet today have a problem handling. That emotion is, yep, you guessed it, anger, rage, pissed off, mad. There are variables of every emotion, certain levels, different variations, but it's all anger. What's the difference between anger and rage? Well, anger is something that's relatively easy to handle. You get a little mad, you drop something on your toe, you get mad. Somebody does something to you, you get mad. Stroke, angry. Rage and when it is when it reaches a point of almost no control. And I say almost because there never comes a point where you should allow yourself to lose control. Does it happen? Sure. Has it happened to me? Well, hmm, we're not going to go there. Does it happen nowadays? Not near like it did when I was younger. The older you get in some areas, the easier you find it is to control that rage. However, in retrospect, the older you get, some of the things that didn't used to bother you really just piss you off. But we become a little more wiser, I hope. Most of us learn that controlling that rage remembering the control word stop and you've heard me use that before we can take that three to ten seconds to regain control and regain composure road rage is really bad in America these days has been for many years I learned to just ignore what the other drivers are doing because number one they don't know I'm there they don't care that I'm there their automobile is their own little cubicle and nothing's going on outside of it. Well, I disagree with that, but it is a fact. That when drivers drive on the highway, most of them drive just like their automobile was their home and no one else outside has any effect over it. Therefore, oh well, just pull out in front of that oncoming semi. <laughs> Dumbass. Anyway people that set out to make you angry or piss you off or push your buttons or flip your switches however you want to call it those people are not good people now you'll hear some friends joke back and forth well my task in life is just to piss you off well that's just a joke that's just one thing but when you get these people, I've seen and lived with some people that their intention is life in life is to push your buttons to piss you off so they can get a fight. Well, that's not good. And that's not the kind of relationship to be in. Because if you have to fight to be happy, I see a personal problem with that. I do not have to fight in a relationship to be happy. That's not healthy. It causes anxieties, it causes stress, and it causes hard feelings in most cases in a relationship. How do you handle anger? How do you handle rage? One word. One word. Stop. S-T-O-P. You don't have to spell it out each time, but 
When you feel that blood start to boil, <clears throat> you feel your face start to go flush, and turn red. Have enough courtesy in yourself to stop. Use that one little control word to break that momentum of that rage. When you've got children and that child is going to do things, it's just really going to push you over the edge. It's alright to allow that child to see that you're angry. But it is not okay to allow that child to see you in an uncontrollable rage because that programs that child that it's okay to handle a situation like that. Thereby they will grow up with rage problems as well. Plus, once you lose control, it is really hard to get it back. Once you lose that control of that rage and that rage becomes a blind rage, it is really hard to get it back and I know this from personal experience you can end up hurting people physically emotionally and psychologically which most of the time you didn't set out to do and the one that really bothers me more than anything else in the world is when you're having a heated argument with somebody and somebody starts cursing you, calling you names, putting you down, calling you an idiot, a dumbass. And then once it's all done, well, honey, you know I didn't mean that. Don't take it personal. I was just angry. Not bull shit. No. If you use words and you holler and scream and cuss at someone angry, that emotion and that true thought has to be coming from somewhere. It's kind of like drinking. They say the best truth serum in the world is a drunk. Because it relieves and removes all of their inhibitions. Anger and rage is much sudden what of the same thing. Once you reach the breaking point, what I call the screaming point, Things that you're saying while you're screaming and hollering without control are things that you have thought. Things that now the restrictions are out of the way because you're out of control. That doesn't make it any better. In fact, it really, in most cases, makes it worse. So the only true way to beat a rage is never reach that point to begin with. Watch the other person's actions. Watch your actions when you're getting enraged with an inanimate object. My biggest thing was when a wrench would slip and break a knuckle I would throw it. Well that got rather expensive. I started watching my own actions and what I did with wrenches when they broke and I noticed that number one my actions were rather childish and I noticed that my actions were rather expensive because tools are not cheap. Same thing goes with you, whoever you are, wherever you may be watching my blogs. Stop and think what you're doing, what you're saying. Everything you do and say when you're in a rage has ramifications once you come off of that rage. So many people have hit beat or abused their spouse either verbally emotionally or psychologically during a rage only to find themselves divorced in jail ruined for life just simply because they did not take a moment to stop that momentum of that anger and you may say well you know Don this is a whole lot easier said than done I've never been able to control my anger. Well, you're right. It is very hard to do. It takes time and it takes practice. It takes meditation and it takes help usually from the outside. Now, if you end up needing to seek counseling on the outside for anger issues, I can tell you what they're going to tell you. Stop. 
you need to stop and change your actions your reactions to other people's actions that is number one key in the counseling world if you change your reactions to someone else's actions over time you will change those actions to you may be hard to understand but if you think about it I'm right if someone walks up on the streets that you've never seen before and they dope pop you well you've got three choices run hit them back or stand there and look at them and ask them what was that for now I've learned to do what was that for and if they go to hit me again I'm just gonna flatten their ass and get it over with because I figure hey I gave them a shot right but I'm not going to become enraged I learned that study in martial arts if once you become angry or enraged you've lost the battle you're out of control so anger management is simply learning to use the control word and stop stop that momentum change your reaction to others actions and you will change those actions towards you but as long as you're pushing people's buttons just to get a good old-fashioned fight that's not healthy and it really plays a toll as things grow older and people grow older so with that I could probably beat anger into the ground on many a different variables on how to handle it but I did scratch the basics just stop that momentum change your reactions to their actions stop pushing people's buttons and if you have to be in a relationship where all you do is fight you might want to evaluate the relationship now I know people that are very passionate they're very passionate in everything they think and everything they do and I've seen areas and people in relationships where their entire relationship is one great big passionate battle well if that's who you are that's fine and if that's your relationship that's fine if your relationship is one of total complete passionate battlefield rock on I personally fail to see that as a healthy situation but whatever works for you is up to you but for those people who live in unhappy marriages and relationships that all they do is fight all they do is hurt each other and all they do is dig and poke and prod and you know I hate you this and don't touch me that and no that's not love and that's not a relationship if you're passionate rock on if you're hateful and hurtful take another look at your relationship I'm not going to tell you to get out of anything that's up to you but remember anger and rage are very dangerous but they're also very controllable don't ever let anybody tell you they're not so with that leave your comments in the area below thank you for watching my blogs and if you have any questions be sure and let me know Enjoy your day. Have a good one.